everybody. Hi, Plus Tubers. <laughs> I'm Peter. <laughs> and I'm Kathy. And uh, we are Pete's Beat Skips and Carolina Cross Stitcher. Yes, and thank you for being here again today. We're uh, looking forward to uh, sharing some more information with you. Mm -hmm. uh, really, thank you so much for all the wonderful, kind comments from our previous Plus Tube as we went through today. And yeah. hopefully, we answered everybody. If we didn't miss anybody, please forgive us. We will definitely go through and make sure, and we don't want to miss out on anybody because. Right. Uh, you all are very special to us, and we are so thankful, so thankful to be here today and to share this information with you. Mm -hmm. And so with that, let's... Uh, yeah, oh. welcome back to our new subscribers, uh, to our old subscribers, and to anyone that might have just clicked into our channel. Yes, yes. We Thank hope you. you'll stay a while and visit and to see what we're working on. This is a channel about cross-stitching, quilting. Yes, and woodworking. And woodworking. Well, specifically mm -hmm. wood turning. Wood yeah. turning, yes. Uh, Peter is a master wood turner. Well, yeah, I know about master. I, know. I am more of a <laughs> jack of all trades, uh, master of none. Oh, um, yeah. Well, I'll, I'll brag on him. That's okay. I'll brag on him. <laughs> but anyway, we've got a lot to show you today. Uh, we want to talk about the quilt behind us. Uh, about we have a previous FFO. We have some FOs, mm -hmm. which for those of you that are new, FO <laughs> FFO is fully finished object. FO is finished object. Just like the military, nothing yeah. but acronyms. <laughs> We've got WIPs, which are work in process, We're progress, right. one of those. Uh, we've got haul. Peter's got a whole bunch of haul over here. I got some new he's, wood I want to show you. He's been shopping, yeah. and I've got some haul too, which you know, it's fun. Uh, we've got plans, and then at the end we have giveaway winners from our last floss tube, and then a new giveaway to announce at the end yeah. of this floss tube. And then at the very, very end, Peter will be sharing a scripture with us, a yeah. blessing to kind of send us on our way. Yeah. So we hope, uh, we're glad you're here, and we hope you're sticking around for a little while. Thank you. Okay, let's go on here. Uh, the quilt behind us, um, I, I subscribe to Fonson Porter uh, Love of Quilting magazine and have for years and years and years. And this particular block was in there. I couldn't find the, the book that it was in, the magazine that it was in, but I believe it's called Cut Glass. Now the one that um, is in the book is not on point. Like Peter said last time, I never follow quilt patterns. So this one I, I didn't follow. <laughs> I mean, I made the block the same, but I put everything on point. Um, I can't remember when I finished this because I didn't do a label and I normally do a label. So that's my bad. I need to do a label for it. Um, but anyway, it is the cut glass block and it's made out of a line called Whitewashed Cottage. Beautiful, beautiful fabric. Very nice. It's beautiful. Very it's great on the bed. Yeah, very soft. This is on our. It was on our bed for a long time when we had a queen, and then when we bought a king, it didn't quite fit. So, um, we, so we have it on a guest bed right now. But this is the block. This is one I didn't use because I messed up on this particular block, um, and I've got to on this this one right here. Should have been going the other direction. But anyway, I'm glad I saved this so I could show you what the actual <laughs> block looks like. There are 51 pieces in this block, nine inch finished. And these are one and a half inch finished uh, half square triangles. I love making them, so much fun. Um, anyway, on, in this quilt, there are 63 blocks, 63 of these blocks. So that means that just in the half square triangles and in the blocks, there are 3,213 pieces. And that's not counting the set in triangles uh, this, this, the um, border, you know, and all that. A lot anyway. of piecing, a lot of work. Yeah. I never and realized I, this, how much work went into making a quilt until I saw her started making these ones, and yeah. it's, I am totally amazed. I just love it. I just love it. Anyway, I quilted this on my sit-down Bernina, uh, and I quilted it free motion by hand in very dense quilting. I wanted you to be able to rub your hand across the quilt and Feel all the quilting, feel all the texture. Yeah, for those of you tactile uh, believers out there, you will <laughs> enjoy yeah, yeah. the feel of something like that. I'm very tactile. But anyway, this fabric, whitewashed cottage, I don't think is around anymore. That's that's the uh, the thing about quilting fabric. If when a new line comes out, if you don't get it, uh, it's gone. It's gone. Okay. But, but then, it comes back sometimes. No, it, they'll never re reprint. It, it doesn't very, come back. Yeah. So once it's gone, it's gone. <laughs> Now this is three sisters. This is three me sisters. acting like I know what I'm talking the about here. <laughs> the designer is still designing uh, for Moda. 
Uh, matter of fact, some of the bags I made, Promenade, is from Three Sisters. Beautiful fabric, anyway. So that's yeah. that's enough about that quilt, and I loved making it. It's a beautiful quilt. Really yeah. enjoyed it. So so yeah. pretty, so light, and I like it. Yeah. Do you have a previous FFO you would like to show? A previous FFO. As a matter of fact, I do. <laughs> like that direction <laughs> there. You saw the arm go across. Yeah. Okay. All right. This is a a tall piece gap made out of a. Uh, very lovely piece of peach wood that had a humongous crack going through it there. That's the danger of peach. The danger, well, danger of any solid piece of wood that I work with there. Got a nice shock of brown there. This is a really colorful piece of wood, Beautiful. but this, like a lot of fruit trees, the wood is really difficult to work with. There, whoops, there's another crack right there. But what I did in this person. I put some green in there. I put some green in there. I was getting to that. Oh. <laughs> anyway. Uh, Sorry. So the cracks, I, I used a resin fill here and then turned it on the lathe. I used some dark hair and again, some different for some different shock of different colors. Again, there's a little bit of green, that kind of thing to fill in the cracks. And what, what resin does is there's nothing harder than this when it dies. It's, it's a, a dries, I mean, not dies. A poppy <laughs> dries. Yeah, I've been, I've been speaking too long in my life, my 66 years here. Oops. And there goes my phone. Wow. <laughs> After a grand start. Anyway, epoxy is hard and it holds everything together so that the wood will never crack. And, uh, and you should feel the weight of this. Which this is, is quite heavy. Scales over here. Quite heavy. Very quite heavy. heavy. Yeah. So anyway, so this is a, a former one that I did there and the epoxy turned out good. I'm very thankful for that. And um, so there it is. Just wanted to show you that. Sitting right next to my sew one of my sewing machines upstairs and I love using it for my <laughs> embroidery scissors, Kai embroidery scissors. Uh, my previous FFO was a, um, it's a, a, a chart by, um, oh geez, DeGraff. Senior moment, folks. <laughs> DeGraff, <laughs> modern folk embroidery. <laughs> and hang on just a second, I'm going to show you. I think I've got, I could not, I looked everywhere. And it never fails when you're looking for something you can't find it. That's the way it works. Yeah, um, yeah Modern Folk Embroidery, Joseph de Graff. Anyway, it's called Love. It's the um, a Fractor Love Sampler. Very nice, very nice. Yeah. And he, he did it in red, which is just beautiful. Uh, but our bedroom is in blue and green. Blue and green, mainly. Yeah. And um, We should take so a I, picture of that show. So. Yeah, so I, we'll do that, yeah. Yeah. So I wanted it in blues and greens to match our the quilt in here and the a painting that Peter a bunch of paintings that Peter well, did. Well, we got we got birch trees all over our bedroom. That's right, yeah, we do. Yeah. Uh, anyway, it's called a Fractor Love Sampler. I did started it for Valentine's Day in twenty one, February fourteenth, two thousand twenty one. And I did I used um, Boy, I'm really doing good today. I used 28 count white cashel linen. This was before I got into, you know, 32, 36, you know, whatever. <clears throat> and I, I, I used a sulky um, cotton floss, 12 weight cotton floss. It's beautiful. Can you see that? Yeah. Maybe I have to hold up to the camera there like that. There, there we go. There you go. There you go. Don't poke them in the eye. <laughs> anyway, it's a beautiful variegated green variegated yeah. green which is Kathy's favorite color yeah and um, I loved every minute of working on this I really did I just think it uh, yeah, it came out beautiful turned out really really pretty wow and Peter made this beautiful frame that was fun too it's nice to work on projects together it really is I reckon that's why God put us together yeah I yeah. think yeah <laughs> he had a plan he has a plan he has a plan and I'm glad to be going with it yeah yeah do you have any uh, FOs you would like to show okay finished object finished object okay I sure do but not not fully finished but you're working yeah yeah I sure do yeah okay. as a matter of fact uh, this yeah, one right here. yeah yeah um, a few weeks back, or maybe it was the first floss tube, I showed you a piece of cherry that a good friend of mine uh, named Tom Donson, Tom, <laughs> Don Thompson, <laughs> Don Thompson, who has since gone off to be with the yeah, Lord, yeah. Uh, gave me a nice piece of old, old cherry, and it, it was full of ants. Mm -hmm. And uh, told you lots so I showed you that, but I started cutting on a piece of it there, and it had so many holes going through it. It's absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. This is what came out of it. It's uh, still in work here, but this is a piece of wild cherry 
You see the big gouges missing out of it there like that. This is just a side view. Wait till you see, get a load of the top of this there. Oh, but there's a at, hole. Look at the color coming through. The it's color, just yeah. beautiful. Now, the, the, looking at the top here, wow, look at all these holes. I can yeah. see all the way through. I think I showed you that before. Yeah. But the thing about this is some of these holes are connected, such as this hole on the side here. In fact, if I blew smoke to the top, it'd come out the side there. Yeah. This <laughs> has so many holes and uh, little uh, ant trails going through here. This must have been the, the New York City hub of all the ants for uh, in, the, in the woods there. <laughs> But a beautiful, beautiful piece of cherry. It's still working on it, uh, trying to finish it up. And it's it's rustic, which means it's Love wild, it. yeah. and um, and it's it's rough. And uh, but it's uh, it's it's solid. We this have two solid. other pieces, uh, sister pieces, yeah, uh, from this wood. We'll we'll show y'all at some point. So it is just as holy, and I just love it. It's Beautiful. just so, so pretty. I love and I love working with this there too. And, and we uh, think about Don and Rosemary, you know. Yeah. Our, Dear friends, yeah. and uh, so we thank them for this. And when it gets all finished up, uh, we'll we'll put that up there as well too. Very good, very good. I'll show you my um, book of days from uh, with all of August filled in. Wow! Y'all looked at it last. Had a busy last month. Time. Yeah, it was busy very month. very busy, very busy. Although I would love to have more time to stitch, but well, we, we do what we can do. That's right. I had two FOs. Yay. <laughs> um, the first one I showed y'all last time that I was working on it. Sorry for the noise. I tried to um, unzip all the bags so I wouldn't bother y'all because I heard one floss tuber say that the sound of zippers drove her nuts. Oh, the sound of zippers drove you nuts, huh? Which I actually like the sound of zippers because that means project. <laughs> Anyway, um, perspective, yeah, Thousand Hills 30 Count Legacy Victoria Sponge Cake in the call for DMC. And this is what I showed well, you. And if y'all follow me on Instagram, you saw my post. That is just a beautiful piece there. Yeah. And here's a ta -da. Little fat cheek. Here we go. Ta -da. Brace yourself. <laughs> <laughs> she worked so hard in this, and it looks so beautiful. And there it is. Look at that. Wow. Yay! I'm just amazed by the work that she's doing with this here and, and that all of you all are doing and that you share. What a fantastic thing is this. I just love this. Beautiful artwork. Lovely. Lovely. I, I used uh, some of the, some, a, a few over dyes in it, but the majority of it, well, except the grass, the grass I used over dyes, but the majority of it was DMC and I am thoroughly pleased with it. Sure. Peter's going to make me a frame someday. Yes, yes, yep, going to get to work on that. Yeah. It's, on, it's in the plan, it's in the works. Mm -hmm. I love how it, she mixes in the thread together. Just like in painting, we get different values, even of the same color, mm -hmm. to I give do. you depth and perspective and, and that. And that's, it all contains in this needlework. It's amazing. I did, I did some blended, blended thread work. Blended thread that. work, which is really, really nice. Okay, are you going to be my helper? I guess so. Okay. I'm Put kind of a up. captive audience here. Put that up. See if I can do this silently now. Yeah, don't don't do the zipper. Block your ears. Okay, all right, do the <laughs> zipper. Yeah. Don't do the zipper. I have to look down here. I'm not dissing anybody, but there. Okay. I'm gonna right just I'm gonna pass it over there to hand you. Hand it to me, sure. Okay, that's Load me up. Right. Okay, I'll take it. Okay. Thanks, thanks. Then I had another. Um, and these were my whip goes for August. So I had that one that I finished for August, and then this was another whip go for August. The Prairie Schoolers, and we showed that to y'all last. Prairie schooler prairie birds. Yeah. So I was going to I was going to do the uh, goldfinches. Yeah, yeah. And um, if I could get started on another, which I got a little bit of a start, but I'm happy that I got the goldfinches done. And this is done on 28 count lamb's wool linen with the called for DMC. Very nice. Let me get take my clips off. Here we go. <laughs> and there it takes. Okay, see there's unrolled. So those this is the I can't see. This was the one that I did this past month. I think they're so cute. They look just like the gold finches outside the window there. Yeah, they do. And this was the one I got started on. I didn't get, didn't get it finished. And then these were ones I previously did. 
that's a bluebird, but our bluebirds around here are brighter. I just, still, I just went with the called for. Yeah, I looked it up, and uh, the bluebirds we have around here are called mountain bluebirds. Oh, okay. Brilliantly blue on them. Brilliantly blue. This Carolina chickadee. This is a, these are little house finches. That one and the this one is a house finch. Yeah. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, yeah. Cardinal. And I then like the cardinal. cardinals, the male and female cardinal. So these are going to be finished in little pillows. I'm either going to do one more or, I don't know, I was looking at another one at one of these in here and I think I might just have to go ahead and do it. Is that the one I started on? Got to do it. Can't remember which one I started on. But anyway, this one has baby birds in it and it is so cute. This one up here, right there. Can you see the little baby birds? And they've got their mouth open. <laughs> so we got a boatload of those wrens there. Those little rascals try to get oh. in my garage all the time when I'm out there working. They like to build their nets inside my cabinets so they can get in there. And, and your your storage building. Sometimes I yeah. Sometimes I go out there and I go to reach for something and I grab a bunch of uh, twigs and <laughs> and leaves on the little guys. <laughs> oh yeah. 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 I had an empty pot on my back porch. Uh, last winter uh -huh. and I went out there early in the morning to get something I thought something looked furry inside there I thought a little raccoon or a little something had crawled up inside my empty pot which used to have plants I shined the light on it maybe I should get that picture if I can find it yeah, there you should. and inside was a bunch of these little wrens all wrapped up together all Aww. little little teeny things and they were all just looking at me and greatly with much <laughs> anger in their eyes for me disturbing their sleep so I gently turned the light back out and left them alone and, but they're always around Okay, so um, we're doing good on time. Well, we're doing, we're doing good. Real good on time. One minutes. thing I want to mention while I was thinking about it, um, last time I mentioned um, that I might, if y'all were interested, I might like to start to learn how to do sample rolls. And mm. several of y'all said that you would be interested in those. So, and I would be interested in them too, because I, I roll up everything I do. So it would be better to protect it in a sampler roll. So I am going to investigate that and see what I have to do to make them nice and so, so you can layer things in and they'll be protected. Interesting. So that is in the works. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> do you have any FO? Any um, <coughs> whips? I got a whip. I got, got a whip? Plenty, of whip. plenty of whips here. Oh, these are whips, huh? Yeah, these are whips. These Absolutely, are whips. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I made uh, a smaller b skep out of a really nice piece of pecan that I mm -hmm. had. I still have supplies so that I'm enjoying doing those. And the only thing about this is the whip because the poor little beads are hovering all around but they got no way to get inside <laughs> so unfortunately I didn't put a hole in it and uh, and uh, but that's got to be that's got to happen and finish it up there and uh, then I'm going to be putting that out there as well yeah. um, to I'll go ahead and show this now as well is that a um, you want to do that shop news Oh, do that shop news. Do that shop news. Shop okay. News. All right. So I got that. You and, got a lot uh, of shop news. I do. I got a lot of shop news. Yeah. Here. I'm gonna show this one here. I guess I don't know. Cool. Is that one? Have you finished that one? This one's finished and done. It's so you can do that with shop news. Or you can shop go ahead news. and show it now if you want to. Huh? No, I'll wait till shop news. <laughs> got to You're gonna be doing the majority of the shop news. Shop, I just okay. have a little bit of shop news. Right, okay. Yeah. So yeah. whips. So I've got some whips. Um, I worked on Snowflower Diaries, and this was the one um, that I told y'all about where I was going to do the Border Collie that reminded us okay. of our dog Nelly that we lost two years ago, two years ago. Uh-oh, there went the... Excuse me while I disappear for a minute. <laughs> I changed the uh, fabric that I had showed y'all last time. Once I started looking at it, I, I wasn't real happy with it. And then I did a floss toss and decided to use this from Grace Notes fabric. It's called Sparkling Grape. And it's, it's really pretty. So I started that on August the 28th. So I guess this is a new start yeah. for me. Um, I'm not finished with it by any means, but I'm, you know, at least I got a start on it. Yep, there's our little puppy, Nelly. Yep. <laughs> oh, so I've got to do the lazy daisy flowers. I've got to fill in the the border, you know, with the colors, that, like a photo. Um, I've got to put in August, and there's uh, some butterflies and I think a bird. And for Nelly, Nelly used to walk around with this blue. Was it a handball? Little handball. Little yeah. handball. Yeah. And she would do like I don't know if y'all remember Farfel from. 
N E S T L E S. That's going way back. Commercial. I'm dating We're, ourselves here. Yeah, now. where the dog would go. N E S T L E S. Nestle is a very fast. Yeah, we probably dog. broke copyright law here now. We got <laughs> expect the lawyers to show up any moment. But anyway, she would walk around squishing on that ball. Big eyes. With her big, big eyes, big and eyes. she looked just like Barfel. Yeah. So yeah. that was her nickname for her. <laughs> She'd be squishing all over the house that plastic ball that she had that saliva all over it. Yeah, so I'm going to do a little blue, <laughs> blue ball. royal blue ball down here. Yeah. Got to for Nelly. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if we'll get another border collie again. Those dogs have a lot of energy. Yeah, you need to be young. Whew, boy, it was all <laughs> I could do to keep her reined in. And even then, uh, it was it was a futile effort trying to control her actions. Yeah. And she'd love to go out and see everybody. She's somebody down down the road across the neighborhood and beeline just running right at them. Kids, she was ah, crazy boy. about the, kids. The kids were crazy too because they weren't quite sure if they come if she was coming to eat them or to say hello to them. But she was them. very friendly with but she kids. Was very friendly, she was so. not friendly with other dogs. No, no. But she was very friendly with. Not get along with dogs, but humans. She loved everybody. Yeah. yeah. Matter of fact, we wanted we had Nellie first, and we wanted to get another dog for her just for companionship, and oh. we tried another border collie, and oh my gosh, that was disastrous. It was. Uh, we were playing referee all the time. Yeah, yeah. through the rescue, the she fights. came through a rescue. All of our dogs come through rescue, but. Anyway, we yeah. had this this one dog, and he came and spent the weekend with us, and it didn't work out too good. He was a nice dog. He was uh, a very nice dog. But Nellie she was, was just she was not nice. No, that's why that it worked time. out so well with Buddy. Yeah, you know, I wish that's we right. could. I yeah, know. I wish we could show him pictures of Buddy. We wanted to show you Buddy, but <laughs> he's. A, He's more than a couch potato yeah. now. I tell you, he's a, he's a small dog, short to the ground, but boy, I tell you what, he's full he's of semen. He's dense. He is so dense. Just trying to pick him up. We had a snake in the yard one day. I walked to, was walking to the mailbox, and Buddy was walking with me, and there was a, a copperhead right there, and I called Buddy. I said, come on, come on, and I tried to pick him up. I could not pick him up because I wanted to get him off the ground in case that snake came towards us. Well, it's a good thing Copperheads are slow. So, but uh, yeah. that was yeah. I remember well, that you came, last year? You came and got the Copperhead yeah. and saved the don't day. Don't like don't like to deal with snakes, but we'll have to, you kind of have to in this part of the world out here where we got Copperheads quite a bit. The creek bed behind the house and just gotta you know be careful where you put your feet sometimes. Yeah, here's a um, another. I had another new start. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, boy, the light just kind of went dim. Yeah. This was uh, Mighty Oaks. I told y'all about that. Are we? Mm -mm. Okay. <laughs> Look how the light, you see? I saw that. Yeah. yeah. Mighty Oaks. So uh, this was with a, a sow that I'm, I started with um, uh, Leanne's Legacy Talk on. It's hashtag Leanne's Legacy Sow wow. with Barb of um, Lost and Floss. I like that old house. And I just, I just think it's beautiful. But old I, tree. I got a very little start, not, not very much. And I'm gonna do the house in green instead of uh, the schneckly. I like the frame they have in here. I may have to imitate. Oh, yeah. I do a lot of my work through imitation. That's well, you know, that's the highest form of praise. Yeah. But this is my pitiful start. <laughs> <laughs> here it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Quarter, left, yeah. left pin corner. It's gonna be beautiful. Yeah, and I posted it on Floss Tag, and Lee and uh, Barb commented back because she's doing the same thing, and she said that's about the same start I got. So I figured if I could just get it started, I'd be all right. That's right. Be encouraged. Yes. So every piece starts with one strand of floss, right? That's right. A single stitch. Single stitch. Yep. Okay. I worked on. Um, Goodness gracious. Peter's uh, and a forest grew. I told y'all about this last last time. And um, this was his birthday piece that I started this past year. And I'm going to have to make some changes. <laughs> okay, we got to come through there, sweetheart. All right, sorry. Okay. I'm still negotiating space over okay. here. Okay. So that's, that's how far I've gotten. But if you'll notice, there's a lot of... Um, ghost stitches in there and there's going to be even more if I stay on this color fabric there's a huge amount of this lighter color this lighter colored blue not that color but this this color and mm. with a piece that's this big I want the everything to show I yeah, want the stitches right. and all the colors to be able to show up no, this no is beautiful fabric I, I'm not complaining about the fabric at all lovely yeah I, I like it too I wish that the colors showed up but they get yeah. hidden they get lost yeah and I don't color. want to start changing colors because there's 
102 different DMC Yikes. boxes in this. Okay. So um, I looked at the chart, and it looks like it, it's done. And you know, with a with a white, very light, Cream and everything well, yeah. shows up. Y'all can see here all these really blue colors. You know that. Yeah, they stand out. Even there. these birds right here, those birds would not show up at all. Yep. So I really wanted them to show up because this is just a gorgeous, and it's going to be for Peter, so I want it to be right. Mm -hmm. So I ordered, right. and I don't know if I made a mistake, but um, I ordered a fat half of 40 count white linen Swigart. And it's white. Definitely white. Definitely white. Beautiful fabric. But all those colors should show up and they're really nice and show up really Well, you know well. what I was thinking this morning? Um, this is going to take a long time for me to do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, that's a lot of stitching. It's a lot of stitching. Work. And yes. chances are it's going to get dirty. Mm. So you can't wash uh, over dyed fabric. Right. You take a chance mm -hmm. in washing it, I've heard. But white, sense. you know, something that's not been over dyed, you can wash. wash. Yeah. yeah. So I, I think it might be better off with this if I can do the 40 count. The 40 count's going to be a little smaller. It's still going to be large, but it's going to be a little smaller as far as the actual size. It won't be quite so much for us to frame. Right. Yeah. So I'm going to start on that this month. Um, so that's going to be a, a restart. A restart. Okay. Well, you yeah. got off to a good start with this one. Sadly, the colors just didn't work for you there. Yeah. And then I've got uh, one more that I started on yesterday, and this is a style. Oh, I didn't write. I didn't write down the style name. I'll I'll look it up and I'll put all that down in the bottom for there you guys. There you go. It'll be in the description. So if down I don't below. remember it here, it'll be there. Then you know, just click on that little carrot, and then go down, and you can see. But anyway, this is Gila J um, Reflect de Soie. I don't know if that's wow. how you say it. <laughs> talking that, it, talk it, that French stuff there that now. Sound wow. Fancy. <laughs> 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 you don't hear much of that uh, down south. Oh, is that not gorgeous? Oh my goodness. Woo. Love them letters. That's just beautiful. Cows, little yeah. cross there. Yeah. But Kim Goldman, <coughs> the contented <coughs> stitcher, is doing a sale starting September first for any of the reflect de soi. So I'm going to join her now. I didn't get to post yesterday because I didn't get my pictures taken until this morning. Uh, yeah. So hopefully I can Only get that so done. Only so much time in the day. Yeah, hopefully I can get that done. And I'm using, um, oh, hang on here. There's a um, Lisa Smith with Kindred <laughs> Stitcher. She hurt. If you go to her floss tube, she did this. Or to her Instagram, you can see her finish piece. And it is oh, amazing. But anyway, I messaged her, you know, back when I was putting together this and asked her if I could get her conversion and she shared it with me. Wow. So if you're interested, nice. I mean, she really did a lot of work on this, a page after page after page of her conversion. Nice. Uh, that was so kind of her. So I really appreciate it, but I'm sure she would do the same with you. If pass you would along just, the blessing. Yeah, she would pass along the blessing to you. So just uh, message her on Instagram and, and she will do that. Uh, I'm stitching this on oh, oh, oh. I'm stitching it on a linen. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, guess I didn't write that down. Well, he was Oh, oh and this was for my mom's birthday. This was in memory of mom. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah. I didn't know my that. mom's oh. birthday, October the 18th. Which I started it then, I didn't get much done, and I didn't bring it in here to show you. Oh. Well, I'll show it to you next that. time. So anyway, that's, I started it yesterday, and I can't believe I didn't bring it in here. Oh my. I did Man. not do good. Okay. It's always another time, Lord willing. Yeah, I hope so. Okay. Okay. I'll show it to you next time. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe we'll put a picture of it here. There you How go. How about that, Peter? Would you do that? Okay. Put a picture of Absolutely. I'll put it right here. here. Just right here. Look okay. right there. Okay. And that's all my whips. All your whips? All my whips. Okay. So, so how about plans? Do you have any plans, Peter? Yeah. Yeah, I sure do. i got lots of plans here. What kind of plans you got? Okay. Well, first of all, this is a plan here. 
I guess this would be a plan, wouldn't it? No, well, that's, that's, a shop, that's shop news. Yeah. That's shop news, okay. You can okay. show whatever you want to show. Okay, all right. Well, I'll tell you what, one thing I would like to do, because it's sitting here staring me in the face, is that, uh, you know, for those who have bought stuff from us, we always throw a little extra things in candy, candy and stuff like that. Kathy likes to put something sweet in there and then her little note and that kind of thing. Third time. Third time. Got a little floss tube. Oh, I got a little <laughs> my computer. But I mean, this is a new computer. I just don't understand. Uh, so we're going to try to go in reverse and remember what we talked that's about right. again. That's right. That's right. We had Buddy up here. Maybe we can still insert some pictures. We got, we got a couple of pictures of him. And uh, we wanted to show you, Buddy. Did a video of him as well, too, and the, and the microphone didn't work. So Yeah, there was no sound, but, you know. Sound just sound. Ay, 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 yeah, we don't understand. Yeah. So mm -hmm. uh, I think where we left off last time, you were showing the uh, your artwork. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, so. I'll go back to this again there. Included with uh, each package that we send out there, um, Kathy likes to send some candy, as I think I described in the video previously before we lost audio. And I like to include these little uh, these little things that I like to paint here too. Okay. Yeah, yeah. These are just little uh, clothes pins, but I like to paint different things on it, especially for the Christmas theme. And I like my little mooses there, and sometimes I put trees. Trees is another trees. favorite thing. I don't have any of those, but anyway, um, I like to right paint here. these and, and send them along. I put color on the back and. Yeah. Just something, just a fun little thing to look at there. I hope you all enjoy them. And uh, got to start doing a whole lot more for the Christmas season coming up. A lot more yeah. candy canes, and I got some with little presents on them and that kind of thing. So, yeah. and decorate them. Yeah. Yeah. Decorations. Just decorations. Fun to do. I love uh, spreading paint on a canvas, and it's almost like working with wood, where you never know what's going to come out when you start spreading paint around. Next thing you know, trees pop out, landscapes, animals. And it's just an interesting thing there. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, wood is like that too. You never know what you're going to get until you open it up and take a look inside. It's like a box of chocolates. Like a box of chocolates. And uh, well, I went to the chocolate store last week there and bought a bunch of <laughs> exotic woods, some of which I'd like to show you here now. And uh, the first of which here is this uh, wood called a mango. Went in the mm -hmm. store and found a bunch of these two by two inch blanks, which are just perfect size to make for our little uh, mini uh, bee skeps and that kind of thing. This is a very light wood and uh, I'm sure you all have seen the mango fruit. mango fruit. Some of you may even like to eat it. That's oh, it. one of the famous, yeah, favorite ones that Kathy and I like to eat so like good to with yogurt. Here. Yeah, so I, I cut off a piece of this about two inches and I actually turned it on the lathe just a little bit ago. Was that it right there? That's it right there, yeah. And this is what, that's what that looked like. Let me move back so you can see it. There you go. Because that's where it came from. <laughs> that's the other the part of it there. And of course this is just uh, unfinished. It's it's uh, semi rough. I got to sand it out some more and drill my hole. Or anything like that on there and yet. Sand it on the bottom and put a nice it's little finish on it there. But I've never ever turned mango wood before. This is very interesting to me and uh, I like it. It's light. It's fun to work with. It cuts good. And uh, so hopefully I'll be doing some more of that. Be, uh, Sending out a lot, making a lot more of these little bee scaps because these are just the, well, they're the bee's knees. What can I say? They're, they're really nice and fun to make. I'm just going to hand you so we were over here, so now we're going back over this way. Back and forth. I'm confused. I don't even know where I am anymore. <laughs> I also found in store these, these uh, laminated black. Uh, this, this is yellow and uh, black. And I thought uh, this might be nice to si a nice size to turn as well, too, for, uh, for the small bee scaps so. there. Kathy had actually bought me one of these there a year or so ago in uh, green and black mm -hmm. that I made candlesticks out of, and it turned really well. So I'm really interested to see how these will come out for uh, with bee skips. Yeah, so. and with it being yellow and black, that's mm -hmm. kind of a and uh, so we'll cool be glad color. to show you that when we complete that for uh, the next video. Yeah. Should I decide to go through this painting <laughs> again? <laughs> All right. And I've heard this happening to so many people that they'll say this is our second or third time recording. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, so okay. it's uh, all right. Well, yeah. patience is a virtue, right? Right. I'm tired of learning patience. Anyway, <laughs> this is a piece here of it's a kind of a reddish wood exotic from South America called paddock, 
which is P-A-D-A-U-K, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And this is a beautiful, rich wood. It's a little bit bigger than the other one by ones. This is about almost two inches square here. But again, I cut off a piece of that and uh, just to show you Ooh, what it looks pretty. like. This is such, now this is real. I was amazed mm, when this, so when I, when I, when this came out. Of course, I said I put my little bee hole on the um, skep here. So that's, it's not quite finished yet, but the finish is on there. And oh boy, I tell you, I just love this wood. This yeah. is so beautiful. I'm going to have to get some more of that. I have to get some more of that because that is just, that's so nice. And, and the scissors look just so, so good. I mean, it makes the scissors look good. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Do, do they have this in bigger bites? Uh, I think they, not, no, I think no, that's as big as it gets. For, as it for gets. spindle turning that I do, yeah, that's a big as I have that. So. Okay, what do you want next? Oh, right. how about the, um, um, yeah, just anyone right there, yeah. That's good, perfect. Uh, this is a, a little bit smaller piece. Again, this is your one, this is a one by one inch, so it's going to make a pretty, a smaller one there, like the, uh, uh, the, like this little guy right here. Is that what this is? Yeah, that, no, that's not. That's uh, that's walnut. But this is called rosewood Patagonia. Patagonia. And uh, it's it's beautiful South American wood here. And, uh, very nice, nice grain, well preserved, dried, nice and clean, no cracks, which is a really big benefit for me. Yeah. So I don't have to spend my time repairing wood that I have to, to send out. Uh, but anyway, it's going to be really interesting, and I'll be showing you what that looks like on the next go around as well. Here's a piece of mimosa. Yeah, mimosa. This is a tree that grows around here, and of course, it's a tropical uh, type of a tree. You might have seen it uh, in pictures, or you might have somewhere you live. Uh, they got these beautiful uh, purple, pink, 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 pink flowers. flowers. Just like, they look like feathers. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful flowery, mm -hmm. and uh, they're sensitive they're to the touch even. And they, they smell really good. Smell wonderful. Almost like my smells good what's yes. out the yard there. Uh, but it's got wonderful grain. So um, I'll be looking forward to uh, cutting a piece of that too. To, uh, actually, I kind of started a piece, but I haven't turned it yet. But that's what it looks like. Piece of mimosa. I'm, mimosa almost, I'm looking forward to that. This should look really good. Here's nice the stuff there. that you have to be careful with. Yeah. This is the stuff. This is palm. Palm wood. And this particular one is red palm. It's a very dense, and my goodness, is it ever heavy compared to the uh, some of the other stuff there? But uh, you can see on it uh, how it's pretty thickly, densely populated here. And this is actually not a wood; it is actually classified as a grass. It's a grass. And uh, the guy who sold it to me in the store says, "Be careful of splinters on this because it could turn septic if you don't get it out right away." And, and it uh, is very splintery on the ends, all along the side here. It is, yeah. And this is the one you started with the... I started, yeah. Was that that one or the other one? Was uh, this one? This, this is the uh, this is the black. Let me, let me hand you that one as well, this too. One? Okay. Yeah. Here's a piece. I was just going to turn this just a few minutes ago there, working off steam from the last video. Um, <laughs> In between. See how much more densely packed this is. It's still the same. It's a, it's a black palm as opposed to a red palm. Very heavy. I cut a piece off and I started to cut on it. And it doesn't look like much now, but I'm just starting to shape it up. And already I can see that it's going to have some really nice little grain features That's in it. Sure. Yeah. And so when this gets done, I'll get that uh, get that all figured up there. And uh, maybe I'll burn that just like the regular. I'll burn that. It'll have little burn marks just like the just like the other little. You don't think the grass will burn too too much? Well, I'll, I'll bring. I'll have my little fire which one my is this fire one? extinguisher there. This is the black. That's the red. Oh, oh, That's this is the red. The red. That's okay. The red. Yeah. So I get confused. Yeah. Well, I know it's because of the difference in grain there. Well, no, it's a black. Ah, take it back. This is black. <laughs> so, because it's a little thicker than the uh, the red one there. Not that it would really make much difference. So you can see the red. This is red. The end of it there. If I can get this lined up right. And that's what the black looks like. So that's, I guess that's the distincting, distinction between distinction those feature. things. And I just got a couple other small steps there. That one out of Osage drawing oh, yeah. and yeah. one out of walnut that I had cut as well too. I'm really having a ball cutting these small They're so cute. things. And, and uh, like they said, the only thing these are lacking right now is just a little uh, bee hole on the side. So mm -hmm. that uh, for, I like to put that on all my bee skeps now because I don't think a bee skep is complete without a place for the... Our little bees again. That's in there something that we've just started doing over the past month. Yeah, so and whatever really size, like yeah. whatever size we do there. So, yeah. okay. One of my friends on Instagram, she got the one of the orange Osage mini macro bee scouts, and she tagged me on a post yesterday and said, 
my scissors finally have a home. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm looking for here is a home for every pair of scissors. Yeah. Yeah, we yeah. love making stuff for stitchers. Okay, how about your stuff? I got some Paul. Right. Okay. Um, I got my, um, I'm still in this chart of the month club with um, Little House Needleworks, Paul on the farm. Very nice. Isn't that cute? I haven't started on these yet, but I'm hoping to maybe next year. Um, I don't know which one this is. This is chart number nine. Chart number nine. And uh, Vonna Pfeiffer has done a beautiful, um, a beautiful border for all of the, all of the charts. And it's, it's free on her uh, website, her blog, uh, as long as you, you know, give her uh, attribution. Attribution? Oh, give her credit. Give her credit. Attribution. <laughs> Attribute it to her. Attribute it to Attribute her. It to Attribute her. It to her. That's, that's, one of my, that's one of my words. Get the dictionary you quick. Where's Webster's <laughs> when you need them? And then here's 12 Days of Christmas, uh, Eight Maids of Milking by Annie Bees. Oh, that's nice. I think it's so cute. Yeah, I'm still nice. working on my first one. <laughs> but, you know, everything in its time, right? Everything in its time. Everything in its time. Um, you'll, you'll get around to it. Just... Yeah, yeah. I went on, um, whoops, I got these all out of order from the last time. I went on 1884 Stitchery. They do uh, reprints of uh, out of chart prints. So things that have been out, you couldn't find, they're, they're finding ways to reprint those. Uh -huh. I guess talking to the designers and, and, and re-releasing them. Okay. And this is the uh, Little Red chair sampler nice. and carol on saltback stitcher i know y'all have seen this on her wall i just think it's beautiful i love those little red chairs and that big flower at the top in the house and that beautiful basket of flowers yeah look at that house up at the top you get animals on the roof oh it does that's gorgeous i love it i love it <laughs> and then uh, i guess those are blue two bluebirds i'm not sure but, and then this one the plantation sampler i saw somebody had done this on their floss tube and was talking about it so i went and grabbed it because i love that hill with all the animals on it it's like an old picture it's like a really old picture so a very old sampler and i can't read it it's really it's hard to read but anyway the plantation sampler hmm. distributed nice. only through 1884 stitchery so y'all might want to go and check them out if you don't know about them i found out about them enough very happy idea. Yeah. Huh? On that one. Okay. And then um, uh, one of our customers is, is um, Jan of, of uh, Tree of Life Sampling. And I, I didn't realize that she had an Etsy store. And then I found out that she had one. And I went to it. And oh my. <laughs> there you go. Kid and candy store. I am yeah. imbibed in some charts. I do the same thing when I go to the wood store. <laughs> Excuse me. So this is Joy's Assurance. By Jan of Tree of Life Samplings. Mm -hmm. Isn't that pretty? Very nice, very nice. And she, uh, uh, a lot of her charts, I've read maybe all of them, uh, she uses scripture. That's the inspiration. Nice. And this one is The Joy of the Lord is Your Strength, Nehemiah mm -hmm. 8 10. Um, mm -hmm. And here's one Human Frailty and Whaley 1831. So this is a reproduction. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful work. This is Penny America, Tree of Life Sampling, uh, a, a, a patriotic stitch. I oh, love nice. that it's like a penny rug around it. Can y'all see that? It's so pretty. I really like that. It says freedom, liberty, America, justice. There you go. Oh, that's all blacked out. I can't see how it is. Oh, you can't see. Up. Okay, you want to hold it over there? Yeah. I'll see if I can go. We changed our light. Sorry. That's yeah. good. Yeah, I think that's good. I do too. Yeah. I need to get busy making some frames after she starts getting these things completed. And then here's an antique reproduction number four, Tender Father Sampler. And it's from the scripture, Love the Lord your God and obey his requirements, laws, decrees, and commands. Deuteronomy 11. Mm -hmm. And I would love to start on that uh, in sampler September this month mm -hmm. with a red floss. I need yeah, to find, see yeah. what, you know, red floss and 
and what fabric I can find that looks old because it needs to that looks it needs to look kind of old. Yeah. Of course, yeah. this is done on a um, lakeside linen, which uh, you know your average bears like us we can't find lakeside. <laughs> <laughs> Find a suitable uh, substitute. Yeah, so right. those are from Jan, and she sent this cute little card. And then, so um, nice. yeah, it's so nice. The floss fix in this one? Not this one, no. Okay. no. Right. That's the third time. Um, mm -hmm. I got my flux. We should be experts at this yeah. by now. I said, remember, fine flux. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flock. Floss fix. Say that <laughs> 10 times real from fast. Back Corner Shop. Oh, Marigold man. yellow. Lord help us. Isn't that pretty? That is gorgeous. Oh, it just looks like sunflowers. And sunflowers, yeah. Autumn, beautiful fall colors. colors. Beautiful fall colors. NPI silks. Mm. I used NPI silks. The pink, the pink pack, pack for one of my one sampler that I did. That I'll show y'all sometime. I can't remember the name of it, but <laughs> and then this is my Vicky Clayton's um, variegated silks. Very nice. Very nice. Love them on. Mm. Absolutely beautiful. These are yeah. worth worth a lot of a lot to me. That's right. Well, you use a lot of thread. You go through it. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Well, I'm hoping to. I'm hoping to. If I, if I live long enough. You will. Uh, <laughs> you better. Uh, and then I got my Grace Notes fabric of the month. Oh, nice, nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this is called Butterfly Tea. tea. Isn't that cute? Butterfly Tea. Oh, right into the lightning. Yeah, we didn't. I don't know what the light is, but we go get it. Just it looked better against the uh, previous. Quilt. Yeah, it really it looked, looked pretty good. against the other quilt. That's got some nice blue in it. In that. It it's got some, some nice blue. Those vibrant colors coming through that will make it soft. Yeah, and soft, soft too. Very soft looking. Nice. And then for uh, quilters out there, or anybody that. Uh, you know, does does sewing on your sewing machine? Uh, the the best thread you can use is Aurafil. Mm. Uh, Aurafil thread, uh, fit fifty count, fifty weight um, uh, cotton. It's Egyptian cotton thread, and it's and that's what I use on all my quilts, all my piecing, all my, any finishing I do, all my project bags. Well, she goes through a <laughs> lot of thread. Go through a lot of thread. But uh, typically on the Aurafil um, threads, I mean, they have gone from when I first started quilting from like seven ninety nine up to thirteen dollars. Yeah, They're thirteen dollars now. It's a big. So you know, for this size spool, which I think is twelve hundred yards, <sighs> I should have looked that up before. But anyway, these are really good colors. Um, I got this from Sewing Parts. Sewing Parts Online. Selling parts online. They're very good neutrals. You can use those for piecing. I use gray a lot of times for piecing. The oh, over here, wrong. These grays for piecing. The creams and the 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 off whites and then black for some things that are darker. But most of the time, I use the creams or the grays for piecing. Yeah. yeah. Those are wonderful. So there's twelve spools in here. It's uh, the basics collection. Twelve spools. Um, yep, by Mark Lupinski. And this was $101. So that is a really good price. And it indicated uh, on the, the receipt that came with it, and you know, when I purchased it, that it wasn't on sale. So I guess this is their normal price, which is really good. So very good thread. Very good thread. Uh, and then I had never used. <laughs> Excuse me, Aurafil uh, 12 weight thread. So since nothing can travel alone, I've got a black and a green, <laughs> and this is good for. Um, I could use that for piecing. She believes in the buddy system. Yeah, yeah, not for piecing. I could use that for stitching. Stitching. <laughs> uh, yeah, because sulky is 12 weight. So I'm not sure what this feels like, but it tells me that it's pretty thick because uh, there's only. 325 yards yards on that yep 350 356 yards so that's it that's sounds a, like a lot but you go through sounds it like pretty a lot, fast but you yeah. through, when compared to 1200 on these spools, i know so I know, that tells you how much finer the orville 50 
Yes. That's good stuff. That's good, stuff. good stuff. Good stuff. So that's that's my haul. Uh, quite a bit, but um, it could be worse. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my mind's going on here thinking too. I wonder what we forgot the the, the original the first video of everything we showed here. Know, Hopefully I we know. didn't miss out on anything. Yeah, but we're, I hope we're coming not. To a I hope not. Close here. So. Yeah. So our plans. Um, which you've you've talked about a lot of your plans with your oh, yeah. turn in small bee skips yes. uh, yeah. since it's sept sampler September I, I just want to share a few of my plans I won't show the actual stitching with you but I'll show the uh, a copy of or the chart and uh, this is Noel sampler so I would like to work on that this month nice Noel sampler Noel Noel beautiful 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 us. chart. Tell us, day. I like this one. Yeah. Which like means that. it is finished, and I've got some of the border done on that. Praise God. That's and I'm doing it in red. Uh, oh, I'm doing it in this this ooh, ooh, this hank, red, yeah. this hank of uh, NPI silk. Wow. I think it's China. China red. Wow. Yeah, I just think it's beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. So anyway, I'll show that to y'all next time. Hopefully, I can get get to stitching on it. Yeah, I got a big crop on that. Yeah. Uh, and then I want to work on uh, Mary Clayton, which is a stitch along with uh, Chrissy of uh, Finally Farm Girl. Wow. We started this back in May, uh, March. I can't remember. It's it's in my there, but. Very nice, very nice. And then I would like to, if I could, if, if I can squeeze in between those. Sure thing. Oh, and you. then also I want to work on yours. So I've got um, and a forest group that I need to restart. Right. And uh, Gila J. Gila J. That's yeah. fine. I think we talked about so that. So maybe too. if I can get the sixth one in. Uh, this is Lucy Beam. Uh, very ambitious. Though he seen us sleeping. And it is just beautiful. I know y'all seen this. There's a lot of people stitching it. Matter of fact, there's a Facebook group um, that is. Uh, Don't mind. The though he, I'm platform. sorry. Though he's seen this sleeping, <laughs> and uh, is showing all the beautiful finishes on there. In her charts, she has uh, four different conversions of you know whatever colors you want would like to use, mm -hmm. and she recommends different fabric. And there was also a conversion I found on the um, um, Facebook of a lady that had done it in beautiful fall colors. So she she uh, let me borrow her conversion. Nice. So, so I've got to see if I can find fabric. And draw we all share. I know. It is good to share. Yes, it is. It's really good to share. Uh, so that's my plans. And um, I think that's, that's all. Uh, and then we've yes. got... Um, giveaway winner from last floss tube, last floss right? tube right? and that was a, a bag we offered a, a bag of your choosing uh, i wanted to show you a few bags that i've made and uh, she can choose one of these or i can you know make her one specifically this is a Lori holt fabric beautiful this is actually in my shop so if this sells of course i wouldn't be able to offer it but if she wants this yeah, we no, can do that. Okay. Uh, this one is also in our shop. It's so it's soft. Halloween fabric. Really, really cute. I like these because of the little bee skip on there. Me too. Uh, but that's Kathy's design. She did a great job with that. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. This has got a purple lining. This is a beautiful fabric uh, by Three Sisters for Moda called Promenade. This is also in our shop. Mm -hmm. Colors are really getting faded out. And this is uh, the whitewash cottage used for the lining. Then these yeah. three I made this week and I haven't made the scissor pulls yet. Really cute Halloween. The <laughs> <laughs> uh, spooktacular. Spooktacular. But they're not spooky. Too they're spooky. not spooky at all. What do you say? Too cute to be this spooky. one is too cute to spook. 
<laughs> you just moved. That's actually the name of the family. Have a long day here, folks. Isn't that cute? Pray for us. Just to kind of pop some color in there. Yeah, it is nice. Yeah, I like that green too. Me too. And then this is bad to the bone. Uh -huh. uh, the old dancing skeleton there. This is the last one I've got of the bad to the bone fabric. Yeah. And on all these last three, I did uh, black and white, different different black and white fabrics for the lining. Yeah. And this is one here there. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a dot. Yeah, dot. And then that one is it's swirlies. A, swirly no, that one's the leopard, like Le leopard. Woo! Is that leopard or zebra? Ze oh, zebra. Man. That's more of a zebra. Yeah. Matter of fact, I think that's called Noah's Ark. Noah's Ark. Oh, okay. That's yep. True. But the, I want to make some bags that are going to be this size. A little bit smaller. A little bit smaller. Will cost a little bit less. Your smaller we'll, projects. We'll fit a Q snap. Q snaps. They will fit in, in these, but not in this. Mm -hmm. So I've got one upstairs on my quilting workbench uh, laid out. That's yeah. going to be the smaller size. Beautiful project bags. That's, that's, I, mean, that's, I guess that's part of the whole thing. Okay. So, so anyway, we we did pull the uh, person that won. Yes, we this did. This morning we did the random comment generator, okay. and we're going to insert that name right here. There. So congratulations, <laughs> and I will, um, after we show this, I will contact you, uh, respond on your comment, comment on your comment, and if you would um, email me uh, your choice, and we will get that out to you as soon as we can. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So are we, we're having a giveaway for this. We are having a giveaway. This For this uh, month, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to create a, uh, make a, uh, a spool. A spool. That'd a nice fun. spool. Yeah. And I have one right here that I would like to show you. This may not be the one because right. I want to do like Kathy does too. I want to give you the opportunity to choose what you would like. The color, wood, size, shape, or well, the, the shape is kind of limited, I suppose. <laughs> but anyway, I have one here. This is a piece of ambrosia maple. You can see that shock of, uh, that's not uh, fungus or anything like that. It goes through the wood. It actually comes from my little beetle that will who burrows into the wood and apparently does this only with maple. It's called the Ambrosia Beetle and uh, does their sets up shop and that's their residue they leave behind. It's still solid wood and everything it's like beautiful. that. It's good. And this is your five holer. This one's a little bit bigger in diameter, but if you would let me know, whoever the winner is going to be for next month, what size you would like to have the drum on this and the mm -hmm. diameter and the height. And then, uh, what do you like? A five holer, three holer, whatever, and that kind oh, of thing. One holer, one holer, okay. whatever you'd like. And also, um, uh, let's see what kind of wood you would like. Right. Now, there is one suggestion that somebody had. Now, I have, I'd like to put these in production as well too. Somebody had recommended that we actually uh, have this top to where it could be removed, and then inside you could put things mm -hmm. inside. So like, like, an, like a like a very large orc hold it there. So that that's plans in the works as well too. But for the winter next month, I'm going to make a, a, a spool of your choice. Mm -hmm. And nice. uh, like I said, uh, we'll send that out to you so that uh, mm -hmm. you can have whatever. Like yeah. yeah. So the word uh, that you can respond to and just, you know, put it down below uh, is going to be spool. Spool. Just spool. Just yeah. simple. Yeah, Even simple. if one word, yeah. spool. spool. Uh, but uh, you need to like the video, subscribe to the channel. There you go. Uh, and you must be eight over 18 in order for us to get your, your email, not email, um, address, address. Yeah. <laughs> I know it was there. So, so, so here. we can send it to you. So, uh, we're looking forward to whoever might win. So y'all comment yes. and, and like the video and subscribe and, and that would just be wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Yes. And we thank all of you who have already done that. Yes. And, many of you uh, have. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you so much. Beautiful, wonderful. And I forgot to. Uh, write down, or you know, so I can give some shout outs for people that I have watched. Um, so but anyway, them all the time yeah, I watch them when I'm upstairs, you know, all making bags or whatever. Day. You know, I'm watching uh, a lot of times, I'm listening, and then when I hear something, I'll look up real quick and try to catch it. Sometimes I have to back up, yeah. Back right. back mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, there's one floss tuber that says, tuber that says look up now. <laughs> <laughs> and I appreciate it when she does that because I'm not always actually you know, watching because I might be working. And if, I'm, if I look up when I'm stitching, then my seam's going to get off. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we, we really do appreciate it. And uh, please comment because we love to read your comments. Yes. Yes. Yes, we do. Yeah. Indeed, we do. Yeah. We, we love to read your comments, and uh, 
just just uh, we thank you for your for your time yes thank you you're so for your kind comments and and uh suggestions all those kind of things you know again we're still this is our third yes we're learning too but we're learning we're having technical issues and uh even with simple things like our computer here, you know, we're looking at our screen, but the camera's up at the top of the screen. So unless we're staring up in the space yeah, there, smart, it looks yeah. like we're looking down all the time and not talking directly to you and that. So Very some good. things that, yeah, we've, we've got to, we'll figure it out yeah. eventually. Um, but anyway, we want to thank you so much. And we'd like to just leave you with uh, a word of encouragement if we could here today. Wonderful. Yeah. And uh, this word comes from uh, Psalms uh, 121 which is very near to me, near and dear to my heart. It says, uh, I will lift my eyes to the hills from whence comes my help. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither sleep, slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. Thank you all again. God bless. God bless. Bye-bye. See you in a couple weeks.